Good morning everybody and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So we did end up with another green bar and it does look like we're forming some form of a triangle at the upside. We'll look at that now in the lower time frame. But uh, this area of 13.296 or 13.300 uh, is clearly an area of interest and you look to the left you can see why. So um, if we just start moving down through the levels you can see we had that big squirt and now we are just consolidating. So the triangle I'm talking about, there it is there. Okay, flat top triangle. But um, if you look at these tails, tails up, tails down, that barbed wire confusion. Uh, <laughs> and look at that on the hour. Uh, you can see this video is going to be very short. So um, that is sideways. There is no opportunity for trading here. Uh, whatever trade you're going to take, you're going to be guessing. So um, for me, I would prefer a pullback. I would prefer this gap to close at the moment. And uh, the longer it stays like this, the less probability that is to happen. And if we do get above this uh, 12296 area, come back and find support there, then I would start looking at this for an opportunity. But for now, that is what's happening. We are ranging and there's absolutely no reason to be looking for a trade here. Um, look at that on the 15. There is no reason why you want to be trading that. You're just going to frustrate yourself. Okay, so now that's it for me on the DAX, I'm afraid. Uh, looking like a long weekend, uh, nice, decent long weekend. This little wedge here broke and then goes sideways, and it happens so often uh, on the DAX at the moment, especially when you're close to a major level like this. And uh, yeah, there's no structure here. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, no, it doesn't help you, but uh, rather keep your money in your pocket. Just stay away from this. Uh, wait for something to transpire. Maybe a nice deep pullback. If it does stop breaking the downside, sorry, before we leave. Um, if it does stop breaking the downside, you're going to need to see a decent break and a decent retest and then start rolling. If you see this kind of price action and a break, uh, which forms a break, that's not a decent break. Continue to ignore it. But if you see some big red bars down and then some structure back up and then start moving, definitely look for it there. Um, I just see something like that. Okay. But if you're seeing that kind of tails up, tails down, moving down, stay away from it. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it for me on the decks. Um, catch up with you later. Cheers for now.